Thank you for tuning in to Macroview Television, and welcome to a brand new edition of the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Wu Reiguo. Do you like photography? People often say that a picture is worth a thousand words. And now today's program, we're delighted to have a professional photographer who currently lives in Prague and who is originally from Taiwan to share with us his experiences in professional photography. Mr. Simon Chang, welcome to the program, Simon. Hello, I'm Simon. Uh, thank you for having me here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Let's start off with a very broad question, Simon. Right. What got you interested in photography? Why? Or? Yeah, why? I would say it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of personal reason. Yeah. It's kind of... Would you mind sharing it with us? Uh, of course. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> it's like personal... It was a hobby like to therapy. start? Oh, okay. Therapy. It's, it's like, it's a process, like, uh, through this kind of tool. Okay. Where the whole process. Okay. And I'm looking, I'm searching for myself. Okay. Like, who am I? Okay. It's always an issue. Okay. And through like, like meeting people, or covering different stories, okay. or like traveling in like different places. Okay. And I would say it's kind of like personal recipe. Okay. And because I mean I grew up in Taiwan, right? Yes, you did. And it's like typical like this uh, the environment, yes. or the cultural background. Yes. And usually y you don't know like who you are exactly until a certain moment. Okay. But usually. I mean, you you consider you're a bit too old to discover that truth. Okay. Right. So and that's the main reason. When did this come about? When you were going to a, a, a junior high school or high school, or it was a college, that you discovered that using the camera lens is the best way of discovering who you are. Right. I would say since I was little, I got some like little compact camera from okay. my father. Right. right. So I, I also like drawing or writing something. Uh -huh. But through pictures, it's like it's kind of drawing as well. Of course. But you're drawing something where you're capturing something okay. from the reality. Right. But you got to be there. Okay. And it's always sort of confrontation okay. between yourself and that reality yes. that you're dealing with. And that's something really exciting for me. Okay. Yeah. And Simon, I know this is a way for you to express yourself and for you to discover yourself. Right. So this may be a, not a reasonable question, but did you have somebody who taught you how to use photography as a tool, as a means of expressing yourself? Or was right. it something that you learned on your own? Right, so like my father, he likes photography a lot. Okay. And I got even the camera I'm using right now okay. as a present for my father. Good. First of all. Good. And secondly, it's like I went to the university in Taiwan, right? Mm -hmm. But I did some courses, like like photography. Okay. Oh, but right. usually I went to play bowling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you skip classes. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, it's like I started to study this classical uh, black and white photography okay. uh, since I moved to Prague. Okay. And I got my mentor, yeah. and he's a really senior like Czech photographer. Okay. And his name is uh, Victor Kolasz. Okay. And he's not from Prague though. Oh. He's like from the city like close to the Polish border. Oh. Okay. And he has okay. been covering the story of that city. And usually they got lots of miners like mine workers. Okay. And he has so. been yeah, photographing in the city uh -huh. for like I would say sixty years. Okay. It's kind of like human photography, like documentary photography. Okay. And I've been working with him like closely Good. for like six years right now. Okay. Right. And Simon you went to school here in Taiwan at the right. Furen University. Right. And you study in communication arts. Right. And uh, was photography <laughs> part of your interest at the time? I mean, right. uh, you know, I mean, I also teach at Foren, right, right. but I teach at the uh, College of the Law. But right. uh, I mean, how was it? I mean, in terms of your undergraduate education, right. did that really help you to right. continue the pursuit of photography? Right. Uh, to be honest, like the moment I realized, okay, I'm going to study like, in this uh, department, like communication yes. arts, I said, yeah. oh, it's fantastic. I, I like talking. Okay, <laughs> right. all right. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, I did some short films, like video stuff. Okay, good. Uh, when I was in that department. Okay. But, but to be honest, on the other hand, it's like, I realized if I want to cover some other, you know, more profound stories, right? Yes. And I must have that uh, experience. Yes, from, indeed. From, you know, like mm -hmm. personal experience. Mm -hmm. Either go for traveling or go to meet more people. Okay. Right? But through that four years in uh, Furen, mm -hmm. and I suppose like uh, I was working hard 
Yes. But I also realize it's like I can't just you know keep the door closed. Of course. And we we'll read lots of novels, we we'll mm -hmm. watch lots of movies, mm -hmm. and then I can write a fantastic like script. Okay. Uh, it doesn't work that way, I suppose. Okay. So therefore, later I finished my military service. Yes. And I worked for one year. In Taiwan, in Taiwan, right? As photographer or something else? Uh, I was working for one like production company. Good. And we're producing the TV commercials. Oh, and I knew okay. those people since I was in high school. Oh. Okay. I started with someone like helping, uh, like preparing the coffee in the studio. Okay. Like, helping okay. with the shooting. From like, the very bottom. Right. Yes. Like since <laughs> I was seventeen. Oh. Okay. So later on, I became like a director assistant. That's very good. Yes. It's interesting, but so you know yeah. all the different aspects of you know production company. Yeah, how to of, manage one. Right. Yeah. Okay. And also, uh, you said that you've been in uh, uh, Prague for the past six years. Right. And uh, why Prague? Why not Prague? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very good question, but oh, there must be some reasons you know, behind your decision to go over right. to Prague, uh, other right. than you know, maybe studying with your mentor, right. you know, Victor. Of course. And, and then uh, maybe that's a primary motivation. But right. any other reason? You know, every time I'm, my friends they ask me this kind of this question, okay. and there's a joke. It's like in the beginning I planned to go to Paris, mm. but I didn't, I didn't save enough money to buy the ticket to Paris, mm -hmm. and I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> also starts with P, right? Oh yes, yes, yes. okay. Yeah, I'm joking. No? Okay, yeah. it's like uh, you know, it's like um, you know, so many people they they went to England, yes, right? They went to the States, yes. And to be honest, like the moment when I was in the army, right, okay. and the moment is like I was preparing my my very first trip to okay. Europe, All right. right, and at the moment I got a kind of naive idea, mm. and I told myself, okay, since I'm going to Europe for the very first time, right, and I'm supposed to start with the the beginning of the European, you know, culture, yes, or civilization, that kind of, yes, yeah, so which means Greece. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about to go to Greece, okay, you know, to start from the first beginning, okay. Right? But luckily or unfortunately, I don't know. Uh. It's like the moment is like I organize everything. I made okay. a reservation of the hostels. I made a plan. I'm going to this island, to another one, and another, right? But shortly before my departure, and there was a big news like seven years ago, and there was a huge strike. And people they didn't want to work in oh, Greece. In Greece, right? So I was thinking, oh shit. So. I mean, if you so go over there now, everything's out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm not going to spend like a month in, in Athens. Yeah, doing like, no way. Yeah. yeah. So some of my friends, they, they just got back from Czech Republic, and we were discussing about this, and they t they mentioned like, so why not go to Prague? I said, where is Prague? <laughs> and I started to do some research. Okay. Right. And then I found one like volunteer program. Oh. It's like uh, it's really common in Europe or in the States right now. Okay. It's like for the young, the young people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, during the summertime, and you ch you choose one country mm -hmm. or one city, mm -hmm. and usually they're all in the countryside, mm -hmm. right? And so you're doing like different kind of like volunteer work. Yes. For, exa for example, you can go to look after the elders yes. or animals okay. or walking the farm and so on and so on. Okay. And the moment I just finished my army, okay. And I say, yeah, so I'm not going to like traveling around, but I rather to choose one like tiny place yeah, and to, yeah, to stay longer. Yes, yeah. So I found one program, and uh, it's in a really tiny village, in in the northern part of Czech Republic. Okay. Uh, like really close to the Polish border. Okay. And I went there to, to like pick up cherries. <laughs> <laughs> was that part of the right. uh, the volunteer program? Right, right, yes. right. Okay. So it was my very first time in my life. Uh, this kind of encounter, yeah. like uh, I met those people. The moment I knew nothing about the country, yeah. I knew nothing about the culture and the language as well. Oh, right. Right. But the, the feeling was great. It's like, uh, I mean, I realized for the very first time in my life. Yeah. You know, you can communicate with people. Yeah. And not using, you know, any, you know, common language. Okay. But it's kind of, I don't know. It was fantastic. Yeah, but yeah. it must have taken a lot of courage. To do that is not an easy thing to do, and also when you speak about the city of Prague, right. I've never been there. You know, excuse my limited <laughs> traveling experience, mm. but the fact is, it's a very romantic, you know, very cultural city. Right. In you know, generally as people understand right. it, uh, did the city itself, you know, serve as a source of inspiration for you, right. especially in your pursuit of professional photography? Right. Did that help? Um, totally. It's like. Uh, I always remember that image, like my mm -hmm. very first time mm -hmm. I entered the city, I mean mm -hmm. the old town, right? Okay. And I still, uh, I always remember, well, I always keep that impact. Okay. It's like, so like there's a tower, like old town, right? Yes. 
and I feel like totally overwhelmed. Yeah, it's as if brick I roads and brick buildings. Yeah, yeah totally. Things. As yeah. if I just somehow enter some postcard scene. Yes. Yeah, but that, that's the, I mean, the beautiful part. But what counts for me is the people. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like after you spend certain of certain amount of time, right? Of course. Right, you so for example, right now I I don't go to the castle, I don't go to the bridge. Or, otherwise, I mean, unless I got some visitors, okay, and I will show them around. But I got my my favorite corners in Prague. Oh, okay. Like I always went to the same cafe, and not so many tourists. Okay. And I and went you to watch people. Right, right, right. And I went to same. like this area to take some pictures. Okay. And you so you sort of you you're seeing like the other side of the city. Mm -hmm. And you got certain like intimacy, of and course. that only belongs to you and the city you saw, where you feel, where you mm -hmm. like. Okay. Yeah. So it was a very unique angle that you're able to observe the city and also its people. You know, as yeah. you develop your your Definitely. skills further. Good. And uh, we certainly enjoyed this introductory remark from Mr. Simon Chang talking about his experiences in professional photography. And we're going to come back after we take a short break. We'll continue this conversation with Simon. We're going to ask him about his Taiwanese heritage. Did that help? Or what kind of role did that play in his maturation process? We'll be right back.